an uh, reanimator deck. Looks like reanimator decks from a couple months ago. It's got four Gristle Brand, one Sphinx of the Steel Wind, one Elish Norn, which will be important in this match, I imagine, one Iona, which will also be important in this match, and an Angel of Despair. Uh, for discard outlets and ways to put things in the graveyard, he's also got two Hapless Reacher Researcher, four Entomb, uh, four careful, careful study. study, and he's also got one main deck show and tell. Drew Rosen is going to immediately go Lotus Petal in Tomb. Let's see if he has the turn one reanimate. I imagine he does. Uh, just the fact that he dropped the Lotus Petal into play that quickly. Yep. Um, I did say good luck to him before uh, before coming back into the booth. It seems that, as if that may that have paid may off. May have actually been effective. There's um, Elish Norn. He might know what he's playing against. He very much might. And the funny thing is I was talking to him and his friend, and his friend was talking about having played, uh, be, oh, being geez. an Elves player. So he's got experience playing against Elves is my, is my guess here. And so, so reanimate on Elish Norn on turn Elish one. Norn on turn one. And, and John has already put Drew to, uh, to like 12. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, 13. Pretty quick. Yeah. But uh, I don't think that John has an out. Well, he's got a forest. We've and got a, that was a try to show you my hand, but just show you out of focus magic for, cards. It was probably forced back up. Um, he does not have a main deck Caracas. Or a sideboarded Caracas, for that matter. Uh, ooh, does he have... He does the Is It versus Golgari Brainstorms. Nice. Those are uh, Yeah, those that are art fancy. is very nice. I love it, yeah. And so... Uh, I think just uh, she just attacked. Yep. For a four. John now to 16, and uh, he, I believe, has a land there, but he seemed to be considering not even playing it, but he played it. Passed back to John. John's like, hey, can I just, can I, like, draw two a turn? Now, John has main deck living wishes, and so it's possible he could be trying to find an answer. In his sideboard. In yeah, his he's, sideboard. he's looking at his sideboard here. I don't, it doesn't look like anything in his sideboard will help here. If he had the Caracas, that would have been very good but it doesn't look like he has it. His sideboard targets are Emrakul, to use all that extra mana with, uh, Sylvan Safekeeper, Maga, Traitor to Mortals. Wow, that's one you don't see very yeah, often. To Fireball. Harmonic Sliver, Mirror Entity. He has an Elvish Archdruid in his sideboard, and a Scavenging Ooze. He also has three Venge Vines. I love Venge Vines. For the more uh, grindy matchups that involve Wraths and, uh, and and burning your your creatures, but there's nothing here that's going to help solve an Elish Norn. Nothing here is going to help solve the turn one and tomb reanimate Elish Norn draw. John's being a good sport, making a show of it. Yeah. But, uh, I don't think that there's any any way out of this. He could theoretically cast. A Regal Force as a 3-3, three, three, that's about it. Yeah, in, not in about looking, four turns. Yeah, exactly. Like, to give himself one more turn, maybe. Yeah. Yep. So, in hand, you can see the uh, Regal Force. There's a Gaia's Cradle there. Nothing, nothing appealing. This hapless researcher is going to speed up the clock by a turn if he casts it. Yeah, he chooses not to. I mean... I'm just gonna sit here with, uh, you know, drawing cards and hitting you for four until you're dead. Sure. Or you until you try doing something to keep me from doing yeah, that. Yeah, so. and John, <clears throat> obviously with the, the, that was pretty much the god draw for Drew if he knew what he was playing. For against. sure, yeah, and I think he did. And he definitely did. I, I guess it was it would be a little bit of a uh, <laughs> John's got a little bit of that. Eh, of course, that would happen to me face. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it, if, if Drew knows what he's playing against, that's a rough way to go, and, uh, you know, he, he definitely did. Of course, if he didn't, entombing a turn one, anything, and immediately Yeah, it's already a could pretty be a, good a play. Of, uh, a, 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 a risk. He would probably have gone for the Gristle Brand at that point. Yeah. I mean, and considering where these uh, players are, you know, here it is late in the Swiss, as late as it gets in the Swiss, yeah. these guys may have been sitting near each other even if they don't know each other. That's and, true. And, you know, you get a peek at what's going on on the tables around you, you yep. see I imagine both this of these guys have had fast rounds at least once. Yeah. And then, so they could scout the top tables. Sure. 
Yeah, and uh, you know he looks up and says, "Hey, I know this this guy's on Elms." And of course, so. remember Magic's team sport, as you were saying, Drew's friends who were talking to him. Uh, maybe uh -huh. They've been doing a little bit of scouting. So taking a look at the sideboards, John's going to be on the play, uh, and he's got a little bit of a wish board, but he he has a scavenging one scavenging ooze in the sideboard. I imagine that will stay there because of the living. No, it'll probably come in because he's got the green sun zeniths. So he'll bring in scavenging ooze. And that might be it. The rest of the sideboard is dedicated to Benjavines and Mindbreak Traps in addition to the wishboard. Now, he is, uh, he does not appear to be of the, uh, the Embrical. He can variety. wish for Embrical. He's got one in the board. He's got okay. one in the board with the Living Wish. Now, right. I like the, the, the direction that a lot of the decks were main decking Embrical mm -hmm. and taking. In the, instead of main decking the Emrakul, like uh, Chris Anderson's blue green enchantress, right. he's main decking a living wish to be able to go get Emrakul right. or something else useful. Right. I think that that's a, a good direction to go in because you don't want to clog up your hands with, yeah, with an Eldrazi. With, with a 15 mana spell <clears throat> that you're not going to be able to cast all the time. Yeah, I, I'm looking on, uh, on Drew's side of things and. Um... There's, I don't know that there's a lot that he necessarily uh, needs to make changes. There's not a lot he necessarily changes. wants or needs yeah. out of this. He's got, he's got Echoing Truth, I guess. Yeah, I'm looking at the bounce spells. Around, That's but, kind of like maybe. But the other thing is, John has no graveyard hate other than scavenging ooze in his in his 75. So. So there's really not even that much of a need for the bounce spells. Right. And, uh, you know, he's got one main deck show and tell and two in the board, and I almost want him to bring out the show and tell. If I'm playing against elves, and I'm assuming maybe they do have Emrakul, I'm kind of, right. like, yeah. hesitant to even play show and tell yep. because, you know, you hear, you always hear the story. My opponent went show and tell, and I went Emrakul. And I went something ridiculous <laughs> yeah, out of the sideboard. Something side ridiculous. Board. They were like, you know, this, and we've I was seen, like, something We've better. seen uh, Angel of Despair out of the sideboard of decks you wouldn't expect it. We saw, uh, I, I saw a Venser Shaper Savant out of the sideboard of a Rug Delver deck. Very guy. nice, yeah. Oblivion Ring last round was in the sideboard. And so there are lots, lots of people are planning on your, uh, on your opponents letting you put something into play. Yeah. So. So in a way, like I, I maybe he these even decks cuts are gonna change. Yeah, these decks are not going to change very much. Um, Drew's dazes are pretty poor on the draw. As is this misdirection. But he doesn't have a ton to bring in, so he might just bring in these. Uh, he might just bring in these bounce spells anyway. Yeah. Just because he wants to take out these. Right, like, I would definitely cut the misdirection, possibly the show and tell, maybe some number of days. The thing about days, or the thing about the elves decks, it, it produces they do a ton use of mana, a lot of but they mana. use a lot of it. Yeah, They'll get to true. the point where they're like, I need to, you know, whatever. Right, yeah, right, I have. Right. Yeah, I spent 23 mana this turn, but I'm, you know, I've only, I'm using it all. I need yep. days something, and it actually may be effective. Now, is is Jin Gitaxis an option? It certainly could be because it's, you know it's probably better than the Angel of Despair. Right. Uh, that's that's a good switch, I think. Angel of Despair, not really. Since since many GC John targets. has no no way to deal with a Jin Gitaxis. Eric Deschamps, who uh, was the artist for Jin Gitaxis, yeah. was here this year. You did an interview with him, didn't you? I did an interview with him. You can check that out on the website. Very cool. There's our compatriot Adam Prozac hanging out behind the other feature match. Yeah, it's uh, it's what we do on our breaks from watching Magic. Just watch more we Magic. Watch Magic, yeah. We are, we're degenerate. <laughs> we kind of like this game, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's funny, you mentioned Jingataxius, and I think the first time I saw somebody play with Jingataxius... He's trying to show us his hand. And try again, try yeah, again, yeah. Joe. Aim Drew. for the actual One camera. More time. No, we no, can't look at it. It's too close. We got a okay, saving there was, grasp? I, I, saw, I thought what I saw heck? a Jingataxius. I thought I saw a saving grasp. I think it was Jingataxius. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. But I don't see a saving grasp yeah. in the list. What so. we do, Drew has uh, definitely seems to have a good grasp of Reanimator, yeah. but not a good grasp of how of cameras, cameras work. How cameras work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Luckily, that's not what he. We're, we're not yeah, he's, uh, playing for top eight of the, the camera is. finals. We are playing for top eight <laughs> of the Star City Games Open in Providence. So yeah, what I was saying was the the first time I saw Jim Gitaxius being played was on SCG, SCG Live, and it was uh, Sam Stoddard. You you oh, know yeah. this guy, don't you? I do. You do you know that Sam Stoddard guy? He was uh he I'm, was playing Reanimator. Huh? You know who was good at this job that we do right now? Sam, Sam Stoddard. Was unbelievable at this. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, turn one Heritage Druid from John. 
think you're right. I think that was a, a Jinka taxis. Yep, yeah. there it is. And, and hapless researcher. No, that's just a careful study. Oh, that's a careful study? It has a hapless researcher in the art. It, it, yes, it does. <laughs> it's actually discard, kind of similar artwork. We're going to discard Iona. Shield of Ameria, among other things, I wonder which is a true, color, what color do you a mean? true beating against the uh, the elf deck. I can't imagine what color you would name against against elves, really. There's careful There's study. There's a foil careful study, apparently. It does look very foily, doesn't it? It's uh, it's the um, faithless looting without flashbacks. That's that's the, yeah. The careful blue. study being a care well. Faithful Saluting is Careless Study. Sure. I believe is what I said on the news and ink that, for the, uh, that the nickname special. There's Iona, Shield of Maria, 9 mana, 7 7 from Zendikar. When it enters the battlefield, you choose a color and your opponents can't cast spells of that color. That was one of the cards um, on the very first episode of Yo MTG, Yo MTG Taps. We were talking about Zendikar, it was coming up. And that was one of the cards that was spoiled. And I was we like, have this a turn card to Scavenging great. Ooze, so. which is going to get Force of Will. Removing, removing Jinga Taxius with the Eric Deschamps signature, which I imagine you got this weekend. Seems seems right. Heritage Druid. Just gonna beat draws in. Draws first blood. Yeah. Heritage Druid's not the best one mana turn one play that I think, John he, I think has. he just I think he just hit Drew with like a branch or something. Yeah. Like, not even. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Animate Dead on Iona. Gonna make it a six seven. Probably gonna name green, although uh, it's possible he can name white because he does have two savannas in play, and elf decks have been known to play swords to plowshares, oblivion ring, mm -hmm. things like that. And green doesn't really have an answer once it's already in play. Sure. But it did you can name move up green. For we have confirmation. Nine packs of return to Ravnica from Matt, who's standing in front of his hand. Matt, raise your hand. He's got his hand in the air. And John passes. He does not have an answer to the Iona. Does he have an answer in the deck? Like, it doesn't he, look like it. I mean, he can play Mirror Entity. <laughs> he can play like, Mirror Entity, he can play Cloudstone Curio, and that's about it. He can play Maga Trader yeah. to Mortals. Okay, okay. We can play Emrakul. Oh, we brought in a Dryad. We can bring in Dryad Arbor. Yeah. This is a good one. But uh, this, is, this is pretty close to the end for, for John. Unfortunately, he did not have uh, the best of luck. Your your wishing Drew good luck seems to have paid out. Yeah, sorry, John. I didn't I didn't see you. I would have wished you good luck as well. Um, Man, I not... need you to wish me good luck before I do things. Haha. -ha. What are you doing? What are you doing after this this match? What are you doing? What am I doing? Did I need luck for? Yeah. I could go to the bars. Okay, good luck there. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. No problem. I might need it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in whatever it is you do next. Yeah, you know that you need luck for. That's one of the more awkward things about. Oh, we're gonna reanimate <laughs> Gristlebrand just for the. Because uh, it's not enough. The sick rubbins. Yeah, reanimate on Gristlebrand for Drew Rosen. Uh, yeah. He's How gonna drop to eight. Here and go to one. Why not? Drew's gonna play around gut shot and not draw any cards here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he didn't go to one, did he? Sure, I didn't no, see him draw cards. I was rooting for it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's maybe a little too greedy. That's pretty greedy. And yeah. Drew defeats John. Drew's gonna make top eight. So 13 uh, minute round. There. Yeah, a little quick, quick, quick little round. Didn't really go John's way, unfortunately. That's a rough matchup for him to begin with. Right. And, and then... things were compounded by Drew having very, very good draws, mm -hmm. and John not really having any particularly good draws. He didn't have turn one land or elf, which yeah. is the best play in Legacy, as many people have told me on multiple occasions. The scariest turn one play in Legacy is forest land or elf to a lot of people. Huh. Didn't really pan out here. 